that chat and we were very lucky to talk to Amanda Keller, the ambassador. To talk about one of society's most essential practices. Donate life and the business of saving lives. Thanks very much, Aisha and Vuli. That's right, we are very honoured today to be blessed with the presence of Amanda Keller, one of the ambassadors for Donate Life and Donate Life Week from the 19th to the 26th of February. Amanda, thanks so much for coming on Chatterbox. Pleasure. So Amanda, why is organ and tissue donation so important? It saved my nephew's life, and I, I guess that's why I think it's so important. But there are so many other Australians who are in the same situation, um, little babies, grown men and women, school children, people from all walks of life who need another crack at life, who are desperate to stay alive. And the only way we can do that is through organ donation. So this is our way of getting the message out as to how important it is, please, to let people know that you're OK with organ donation. So if your family's ever in the situation of having to make that decision, they know what your wishes are um, so people can get another crack at it. Why do you think it's such a difficult issue for families to talk about? You're right, it isn't an easy thing to bring up, but it's such an important thing to bring up. Donors, more or less, are people who have died quickly. People who've had long illnesses, people who are elderly, aren't necessarily going to be donors. The majority of the uh, organs that will be donated will be from people, possibly young people, who've died in accidents. So you're going to be in your worst possible moment when you're asked to make this decision about your loved one's organs. So I don't know how you can bring it up, but it's so important that you do because you don't get a chance to tell people afterwards. If you're the donor, you've died quickly. So that's why it's important to say, to have this conversation now so that if your family is ever in the awful situation of being asked these questions, they know what your wishes are. I don't know what the, the loving, easy way is to bring this up, apart from sitting around a dinner table and saying, you know what I've been thinking about today, I need to tell you what I'd like you to do if I was ever in an accident. Of course, today is Valentine's Day, the day of love, and there's often been a, a stigma of fear associated with organ donation. How do you think we can spin that fear into the love that this issue is really all about? That's right. It, it's like, let's hardwire that information into, into your family's minds. This is what I want to happen. If this ever happens, this is the decision I want made. I've spoken to um, some parents who've had to make that decision for their children, that their, their uh, adult children have been killed in accidents. And they've known their wishes. And they have said how lovingly the body is handled. Because I think there was a series of urban myths a number of years ago about people waking up missing kidneys, about bodies not being properly dead when organs are harvested. That is not the reality. That is not what happens. And I've heard this firsthand from families who've been involved. Parents are very much, and loved ones, are very much in the loop, very much respected. Um, and all proper checks and balances are completely in place. So have no fear that something underhand is taking place. That would never, ever happen. You're one of the ambassadors for Donate Life. What does that involve? Uh, I guess my message is to, to get this message out, have the conversation, sit down with the people that matter to you and say, God forbid I'm ever in an accident, God forbid I ever pass away quickly, God forbid you're ever in a situation where you need my, someone's asking for my organs. I'm happy for that to happen. So that's the message as an ambassador I'm trying to get out. It's changed my life uh, through my nephew. I've met so many families who are on both sides of, of the coin here, whether they're donors or recipients. And uh, that's my role, is to get people to talk about it. Because often, too, if you... you you may think, yes, this is what I want to happen, but you're not the person that has the final say. It is your family and their wishes are respected. So you need to make sure that your family knows how you feel. On the 18th of February, we're having a screening for the Film Life Project where filmmakers actually have submitted their films to raise awareness for this important issue. How do you think art can help raise awareness for what is such an important issue? I think art is a very important way to do this. Sometimes that can uh, affect the senses in a way that a conversation can't. There was a, a photography exhibition a couple of years ago that tried to capture all this. And some of the photographs I remember, there was a woman with a baby on her hip and a mountain bike next to them. And her husband had passed away in a mountain bike accident. Um, but but their, their pride in his decision was just evident in this beautiful photograph. Um, and other ones of loved ones lying on the grass, the camera is taken from above and there's a child's toy or a plane in the image and it just kicks you in the solar plexus. But it, it, it just shows what, what that family's been through in that one small image and yet 
uh, what it meant for someone else's future. I think art's a beautiful way to tell that story. Thank you so much for coming on and talking about such an important social issue. Thanks, Ben. There you go, guys, Amanda Keller. Now, don't forget the Film Life Festival is on from the 18th of February at the Switch Digital Arts Centre. For any of you who want to come down and see the great work that the filmmakers are doing to spread the message of organ donation, make sure you're there.